Cray Craft Girl here and welcome back. As you can see today I have another unboxing or unbagging I guess you'd call it this time because it's in a bag. Um, this parcel I am like 99.9% .9 sure where this is from. Um, that is from Everyday E-Deals. I ordered a couple canvases on there because I finally managed to get the shipping down to a reasonable cost. For the longest time, the Avery D E deals shipping has been crazy because of everything going on. Um, but recently, because things have started to come down and everything, the shipping has gone back down again. It's not super cheap. I believe it is eight ninety nine US covered to Canadian. That's yes, roughly ten or so dollars. So not great, but better than what it was because it was up to like thirty dollars at one point. I'm pretty sure it was crazy. But I've heard a lot of good things about Avery, Avery D E deals with their cheaper canvases that's poor glue and everything so I wanted to try it so I got four diamond paintings in for this order so I'm just gonna open it up that is ripping so horribly my little knife probably should use my other one now as I have seen and with other diamond paintings the each diamond painting itself comes in an individual don't individual envelope. So we got these here. So our envelopes. Alright, so this one feels pretty thick. This one feels pretty thick here. I want to this one's the smallest. Yeah, this is the smallest one from what I can feel. So let's start with this one. Sometimes I yeah, no. I think we will pull the plastic off like that. I'm not going to. I'm just going to rip it open. I don't keep them in, I'm not going to keep them in these bags. I know some people do store them like that, but I won't be. I have a different system, so. Ah, so that's what this one is. This is the special drill one. I was kind of thinking it might be that one. Alright, let's take a look at this. Where's the fold over? There's always a fold over where it's... Oh, I see it folded down further than I'm used to. Okay. Alright, so this is a special drill. I believe I only got one special drill from there. The rest were all standard. So, oh, this painting's smaller. Okay, so this is a special drill. As you can see, it says life is what you bake it. Uh, this is a special drill diamond painting. Um, not smaller canvas. I know all their canvases are standard 30 by 40, but I, I didn't look at you now, I think, about when I ordered the special. I just assumed it was going to be. So, oh well, that's kind of my bad. Uh, here we have our standard toolkit, bolt wax pen, nothing special there. From my understanding, all everyday e deal kits are like that, it's just standard bolt pen wax. And then they got the green boats, I don't like the green boats, so those ones just go. Oh! Don't know if there's someone who wants them or needs them. And here are the drills. Ugh, special drills. I'm starting to get more into special drills and I'm really liking it. I'm really liking the special drills lately. There we have one. Uh, fortunately, these do not have a DMC code on it. That's unfortunate because uh, I don't have many special drills, so I don't have much to compare it to. But uh, I'll figure it out. And there's this orange, a nice teal kind of color there. There's a nice purple. This is like a very pale yellow. This is a straight black, probably a three ten. The only thing I'm pretty sure I know in this one is just the silver or white type of special drill. Pretty simple, there's only seven colors here. Very simple, it's just the words and the pencils and stuff like that. So it's a nice little kit, which I think will be awesome. I have another diamond painting coming from AliExpress that's in the same kind of style. The background looks like it's a chalkboard kind of look idea. And the words and stuff are in a special drill. I've also seen these diamond paintings, this picture as a diamond painting where the whole thing's a diamond painting, it's not supposed to be drills. I think it would look better with special drills, but that's just me. But yeah, that's one. One diamond painting. Good. Smaller than I thought it was going to be, but they're still going to come out, so it looks nice, so I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so the rest of these all feel about the same for thickness, so let's just Go at it, I guess. Choose one and go for it. Ah, there we go. It's very close to cutting the canvas. Good thing I didn't. <laughs> it's 
ones fold inward. Make sure there's nothing else in there. We're good. Alright, let's see what this one is. Ah, it's this one. This is my Zootopia one. Let me see here. I'm just gonna fold it the other way. See if I can get this creases out a bit there. There we go, that's a little better. Oh, this is a Zootopia one. I actually really like the Zootopia movie. It's a really cute one. Um, there's a few other Zootopia that I'm painting that I'm looking at that I wanted. So I thought I'd try this one, give it a shot, because it was one of the cheaper ones on the on the everyday eagles. It looks really good though, I'm liking how that looks. Let's take a quick look at the drill area. So yeah, dark ladder, white writing on dark, black on light. Looks like it'll be pretty easy, pretty distinguishable between things. Here we have a legend. Do I have any symbols? No, all letters and numbers. So no symbols, that's nice. It makes my life easier for cleaning these up because these ones don't come with an inventory sheet so I can't use the inventory sheet when I label. So if it's just all letters and numbers though, I can use my little like label maker. So that's nice. Standard boat, it again. I'm not trying to go through every boat. <laughs> uh, the drill toolkit, I should say. But I will go through the drills. Right, oh, this one's separate. Okay, it looks like the DMC code is on the drill, the packages of the drills. Yeah, which is good because I don't, there's no DMC code on the legend itself. So at least we do have a DMC code on these packaging. So this is just one on its own brown. The rest is all joined together. There's a black, which is 310. And a very dark blue there. Gray type color, a light yellow, -y, more yellow, -y. bit of darker orange, and there's a light orange there. That would be for Nick. Some browns, some reds, both lighter and a darker red. And more burgundy, I guess. That's a very dark brown with some runaways in it. There's a lighter beigey color. Nice green. Oh, that'd be next shirt. I was gonna say, what's the green? But it's next shirt. More green. Uh, That's a very, very dark brown again. Ooh, look at this light blue. Oh, let's do the background, this light blue. A lot of blocking with that color. Oh, that's, that's the same color. There's two bases. That's a lot of girls to that. More brown. Oh, yes. I really like this one. Basically, I was, um, I tried my best because I know that I'm like 40 by 30s. So I tried, did my best to choose pictures that I knew would show up really good in a 30 by 40, or at least I'm pretty sure it would show up good in a 30 by 40. So I think this one would work pretty well because it's a close up of the two of them. So that is really good. Nick and Judy. I'm really excited. Yee! Why do I have paintings from my stash? This to the side. All right, next I am painting. So another one that's folded inward. Let's. Ooh, oh, yeah, my Mulan. I got a Mulan, as you can see here. I'm just gonna fold it the other way. I'm gonna roll it the other way here. Of course, only ever do this with pour glue. Never do it with double-sided adhesive. Only with pour glue can you do this. One thing I do like about this site, they are poured glue. Uh, the pose looks good. Everything looks good in this picture. It's a it's not like the um, standard trademark and uh, look of the animation. This is more a fan art look, which I do like. It's a little different. Um, I actually had a lot of Mulans I was debating what we're getting and I decided to get this one out of all the ones I looked at. Um, I just love the picture of her. I like her like this a lot, so. Look at the drill feel here. So we got some white letters on a not dark dark color, but it's okay, I can still read it. 
the light pattern should be no problem. Pretty legible though, pretty easy. Good variation in color, another reason why I think I really like this painting because I like painting with a good very good paintings with good variety of color. Um, I do like paintings with that don't have as much of course because I like the picture itself, but I just seem to enjoy it more when I have more colors. I like having colors. So there's a legend on the table. Now there's no DMC code on that, so hopefully there is in the bags. Oh look at this! This toolkit has baggies! That's amazing! Sweet! More baggies! Now oh no. no. Okay. Now we're now I, I don't like that because I don't see a DMC code on my drill my baggies. My drill baggies. Oh dang it. I'm gonna have to try matching these the best as I can, I guess. It's just got the code for the painting itself. <coughs> Sorry about that. Need to cough, but yeah. Let's take a look at the quality of these drills though. Oh, I like that purple. Beige yellowy. Some orange in there. This is all in one long ink. Oh, more of an orangey day. Burgundy. Ooh, that's a nice pink. A lot of yellow. A lot of greens, of course, from the lawn. <laughs> and more of a pinky color, and this is more of a red. Or my corally. This is a very dark green. Oh no, very dark brown. Sorry, my lighting is not the best. Uh, nice blue though. A burgundy type color. Ooh, a lighter blue. Some more red. Ooh, that's a nice pinky color. Ooh, got some white. This is uh, white. More green. A lot of this pink. This is like the same color. Yep, this is the same color. And this, if I had to guess, it's a black. Yeah, this is a black. So I'm pretty sure this one's 310 if I had to guess. <laughs> but yeah, I'll have to do my best to match them up, I guess, as best as I can. Hopefully it will work out. But other than not having a DMT code on there, which does suck. I, everything else looks good for this kit. Everything is here so far. Uh, the pictures look really good so far. I'm really liking this. Alright. We have one more left because I got four. Not least. Okay. Uh, oh, and what? What? Okay. Um, I'm confused because I didn't order this. This is not what I ordered. My last one was a Moana painting, and this is obviously, as you can see, it's not Moana. It's Jasmine. Um. I don't mind Jasmine, I do like Jasmine actually, so it's not the end of the world, but I was really looking forward to my Moana. Um, I will definitely have to contact Yeridi e Edales and see what happened there because I did not order this one. Um, it is a nice painting though, something I, I could see myself ordering, no doubt, so I don't mind keeping it. Yeah, it's a little blurry there, sorry. Um, a lot of blues though. Yeah, I try to definitely choose more paintings where this for a different background color so you can see she just stands a little bit more where this blend looks blends in a lot too much, I think, in my opinion. I, I do like Jasmine though, so this is something I would do. Um This is a nice canvas though. Uh it's got the DMC coat on the time. There's only one of them. It's the wrong painting that I didn't order this, but it has a DMC coat on the legend. And there these ones are in baggies. Like actual baggies. So, yeah, I don't know what happened there. I'm confused. I'm going to play how to contact the seller about this one because I don't know what happened there. Yeah, the original one I had, I ordered, I had a Moana. I will put it on the screen right now. And I think it's a very beautiful picture. Kind of the same kind of animation artwork as the Moana one. I, um, and I really like the Mona one, so I'm kind of disappointed it's not the here, so I'll definitely have to contact the seller and see like, what happened there. Um, but and that, that's the last one. Um, there are four paintings, so I'm not technically missing a painting. I technically am, but I have four paintings, so that was very, that's confusing, but at least I got three out of the four.
at least they didn't screw up on all my paintings, just the one. So, these do you right, this one is not, but I will have to contact them and figure it out. Other than that, that is it for today. I'm super excited. I got some more dime paintings from to add to my stash because I have I have a lot I'm working on still, but I'm super excited I got these. They turn out really well. And as long as your shipping stays low, I'll probably order some more. Other than that, thanks for watching. Remember to hit that like and subscribe to see more unboxings and beggings. There's always more to come because I'm always ordering. I can't stop, it seems like. So there's always more to come. Thanks for joining me today and see you next time. Bye.